For my final project uh, for Adapted Fayette, I made a cornhole catapult launcher. Um, it's for students who don't have the ability to throw the cornhole themselves. So if someone with like cerebral palsy or someone with a wheelchair, all they have to do is pull the string. So I tried to um, be kind of thrifty with how I made this, so making it structurally sound, um, effective, but also cost effective as well. So as you can see here, I made everything, all the frame is just kind of out of two by four, so I ended up having to get three seven foot, actually it was four seven foot two by fours, which is around eight bucks. And then um, just some screws to put it in. If you come to the side here, uh, the only type of brace that I had to use was just a simple little straight brace that you can find anywhere at the hardware store. And these are like a buck a piece. Um, and so that just helps brace this all together. Um, when you come over here, I found um, so my actual launcher. This is just two inch PVC pipe. That's 32 inches long. And this is the bottom of a two liter bottle. So that's what holds it in. Both things I just found around, um, which you can find around pretty easy. And then I just made sure on the PVC pipe to get the thicker version here, which is good. And then at the bottom, the kind of mechanism that works here is I have a 3 8 inch uh, long bolt that's two foot. Um, you might want to go a little thicker as some of the tension can put some bend on this. And so I just screwed right through here on both sides and then just put a little 2 by 4 to cap it so this bolt doesn't move side to side. Um, if you want to, you could put a washer in here to really lock it in place. Um, but also not necessary. So this is all pretty cheap. And then you just have your basic frame where you just kind of screw it all together. So it's two feet wide and then it is 30 inches long. So very, uh, actually no, it's four feet long. So two feet wide, four feet long. These are 27 inches high off the ground. And then you just use your Pythagorean theorem to make the corner on your brace there, which is pretty easy. And those are about 40 inches. Um, and then come around the back here just to, so you can see there's different ways to do this. So what I did, this is our mechanism that holds this all in place. So all the student has to do is take the string and pull it so this will rest underneath. So I just put screws in the top and then an eye hook here, string. There's different options that you could do with this. You could put on the back of here just a little metal rod that braces and a door latch. You can put a door latch here so it just comes down and clips in. Um, that would be a little more structurally sound, but it'd be a little more, cost a little more. So about this whole thing cost, it was about 15 bucks to make. Um, with a door latch, you're looking at more like 20, 25, depending on how you go. Um, and then up here, so the all the force tensions coming up, exercise bands, which you can find about anywhere. Just zip tied into eye hook, one eye hook on each side, one in the middle, and then zip ties here. So what it looks like, all you'd have to do is have um, your paraprofessional or whatever come in here, and then it just locks it in place here. And then to fire it, you do it here. The big thing with firing that I've noticed um, is bag placement is huge. So if you put it in here, it's gonna be a lot different than here. It'll go all over the place, not necessarily consistent. It took me about 24 shots to get it dialed in and after that I put two out of three in the hole and so there's lots of variation. So all the student has to do is just pull it and then it launches. So pretty simple, pretty effective, um, but also fun and you have lots of different options you can go with it. On the end here on this one, this is the option you can do. Um, I just stacked it up to get the right angle. Um, just so I got a little more launch up and down. You don't necessarily have to do that and that kind of depends how you go, but and it also depends on how much power you have in your resistant bands. But yeah, overall, very effective um, on what it does and it's also super fun and easy to use for the students, but um, yeah, I just made sure I set it up when I set up our port here um, that I pulled it back away from the board so that it's not in the way of the gameplay, so they can sit back and still be, you don't really have to do much move in there, so. Um, simple, cheap, and fun, that's where we're at. Thank you.